Hello my baby darlings, welcome to this video. <laughs> I'm so very glad for this. Actually for all videos, for all times I talk. This is about astrology and literally the word astrology means the science of the stars. Astro refers to stars and logos means science. These are ancient Greek words. As you might know, a lot of words in sciences and about sciences come from ancient Greece. Thing is that astrology is the science. And whether you believe it or not, I don't care. <laughs> but if you are interested in astrology, you will sooner or later find this out or figure this out. Essentially, it is as above, so below. These are the most famous words of Hermeticism, which is, let's call it a science, but it's, it, it, it's something very beautiful. It's a realm of knowledge about life <laughs> and its, its many aspects. And thing is that astrology conveys those aspects of life as we perceive it. Not just in this incarnation, in any incarnation that has to do with this type of being, this type of incarnation, anthropomorphic body. Because this is the moment when I'm gonna say something which may sound a little wow for some, for others, I know it's not going to sound too, like too much. You feel this, some of you already know this. There is life on other planets and there is life on other planets in this galaxy. Those of you who are star seeds, you know yourselves. I need not explain things further for you. Those of you who do not know what star seeds are, well, the name says it, they are seeded by the consciousness of certain stars. As you know, each star is a sun. Our sun here is a star. And souls that come from the collectives of planets, they are star seeded. They themselves as souls are seeded by the consciousness of the respective sun or suns of the solar system where their native planet is. And I say native planet because after some cycles of incarnations and evolution on the native planet, a soul can choose to go on other planets it is just as much as with countries on Earth. And some countries are more developed, some are less developed. So it is with collective consciousnesses of the inhabitants of different planets. Currently, humanity of Earth is the lowest in consciousness. <laughs> compared to the other <laughs> collective consciousnesses of this galaxy. <laughs> other, well, not other, actually. There's another species, you might have heard about this. Again, those of you who are starseeds, those of you who are very much awake, you know, this is for real, the reptilians or the draconians. They are the lowest in consciousness and they are the, they choose this. They are the negative souls, the demons, the ones who go on other planets, just as much as you saw empires throughout the history of humanity, going to other countries and conquering those countries and then enslaving the people of those countries and bringing them back to their capital as slaves. 
this is not something that humans would have done by themselves. This is not seeded in the human consciousness. This was only copied from the reptilians slash draconians. And thing is that, well, I'm not English. And in my mother tongue, the word for devil is Dracu, which is which resembles very much the name Draco, which is their star. Their star, the star of these beings, is called like that. So this explains a lot. And they are here on Earth as much as they have been on many other planets in the galaxy. And tried to enslave the people there. The most severe case is the case of the Orion constellation, something which in the starseed community is known as the Orion Wars. Those souls took it heaviest from those beings. Now, Earth is the only currently the only one left, the, the last planet under their control. And they stay in the shadows. They, they don't expose themselves, obviously, because they are masters of manipulation. And if, if you know that line, the biggest trick that the devil pulled on humanity is that he made humans think he's not real. This is what they did. Right now, if, if you go to many, many people and you tell them about this, they'll look at you and think you're crazy. But as I told you, there are many things that humans currently do and have been doing in the past millennia that are not seeded in the human consciousness. But the thing is that humanity fell. This is a moment in human history. Earth's human history, because there is humanity on other planets as well, Venus, and Mars had humanity as well, but it got destroyed by the explosion of another planet, which was in the solar system. I can already hear this is too much for some people. <laughs> there was another planet called Maldek in the solar system, and it exploded. It, exactly because that planet was also under the control of those negative beings. And they got manipulated to that extent that they literally destroyed themselves. And that explosion had an impact on Mars. And it created a collective trauma for those two collectives of souls. And because their planets got... well. Maldek got destroyed and Mars got inhospitable. So they were forced to come incarnate on other planets. And obviously, since Earth is closest, they would come to Earth. Some of them to Venus as well. But it's up to their own choice as souls. Now, the thing is that when you understand this, when you understand that, as a species, we are part of a family of species from this galaxy, you will understand astrology as the science even better. And... I do encourage those of you who are star seeds coming from this place or this place or this place. If if this is the first moment you hear about this and you don't know what star seed you are and where you are from, I have videos about this, videos about soul origin, cartomancy. So you intuitively are pulled to a card there and it will show. So all you have to do is just Search that video on my channel. I know some of you prefer links in the descriptions, but I sometimes forget about that. <laughs> so, 
So, as I was saying, I do encourage you, all of you who are starseeds, to look for the significance, the astrological significance of your places of origin. And I know, I intuit this, that Many of you who are star seeds, incarnate as humans now, you will aid in the further development of human understanding of the nature of those stars and planets. Because as I was saying in the beginning, this is one type of incarnation the anthropomorphic type of incarnation. And obviously as plants, well, minerals, plants, animals, and then the anthropomorphic type of incarnation. But then there is the planet type of incarnation. Literally every planet is a soul incarnate as a planet. And then the sun is another incarnation. And I have further videos where I explain the multiple layers of incarnations and you can either look at them from this perspective of the human up or the perspective of the galaxy and then a constellation and then a sun or solar system planets and beings who live on the planet. The essential idea is that we're not alone, <laughs> never. And this is um, a video both for starseeds and astrologers. I know there are some astrologers who already know about starseeds, but I know there are many others who don't. And it is vital, I would say, that in this age of Aquarius, especially astrologers should know about this. <laughs> okay. This has been the video. I love you. And do tell me how you find this knowledge. <laughs>